Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, I am wearing a headband today. I'm also wearing some fruits and vegetables. Now in the last video, I talked about how to make fruit and vegetable powders using a dehydrator. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to use these fruit and vegetable powders and what they can be used for. These fruit and vegetable powders can last anywhere from a few months to a few years. So very convenient to keep on hand and very easy to use. I have gone ahead and done a few different things. Remember, you can mix and match these ingredients for your specific need or skin type. So you don't have to just use one ingredient, but you can mix and match for whatever you need. These ingredients can be used all by themselves. You can use them as a rinse or a toner as well for your skin or hair. They can also be added to clays if you're looking to make more of a facial mud mask. Now this is our pretty little palette of fruit and veggie powders. And I also have some roots in here like turmeric and some ginger. This is strawberry powder. So strawberry is great for balancing oil and helping to minimize the appearance of pores. So if you're fighting oily skin, strawberry powder is a good thing to keep on hand. Here we have some aloe vera powder, which obviously aloe is well known for helping with healing. So great to keep around, especially if you spend a lot of time in the sun. And one of the ways that you can make this at home is by splitting the leaves in half, scraping off the gel, and then you wanna take the inner pulp of the leaf and put that in your dehydrator, chopped up into little pieces if you can. Turmeric is believed to help with a lot of things from eczema, rosacea, acne, lightning scars. It's even believed to help fight off certain types of cancer cells. There is a common misbelief that turmeric stains your skin, and that's actually not true. It will stain your clothes, but as far as your skin, if you notice any leftover pigment after using turmeric, just rinse a couple more times and it should fade after a few minutes. Ginger is naturally stimulating and can also be helpful for reversing hypopigmentation. So if you have areas of skin that have lost any pigment from scarring or skin conditions, you can try a ginger paste to help reverse that. Figs are really helpful for reversing UV damage. So great for areas where you have sunburn or areas that get heavy sun exposure. Carrot powder actually does the reverse of ginger, so if you have dark spots from scars or other skin conditions, you can try carrot paste or a carrot mask to help even out your skin tone. Tomato has a lot of natural acidity and that acidity can be helpful for minimizing the appearance of pores and balancing oily skin. So really good for treatments on your nose or on your cheeks or chin, any areas where you wanna help shrink pores. Cranberry has good strong antioxidant powers. It can be helpful on areas where you have eczema flare-ups, so killing the bacteria and things that live on your skin naturally that are causing that irritation. Lemon peel, high in vitamin C, lots of antioxidants and also helpful for oily skin. Do keep in mind that citrus products can cause a little bit of photosensitivity. So use these at night versus in the morning and give your skin a chance to rest overnight before going outside in the sun. Spinach. Spinach is helpful for reducing redness, evening skin tone, and there's lots of chlorophyll in green things. So this can help kill bacteria on the skin, promote collagen, even out skin tone. Plus it has lots of vitamins. Then last here, I have some apple powder. Apples are naturally high in one of a few alpha hydroxy acids called malic acid. So these naturally help exfoliate skin and can actually act as a mild chemical peel. I have mixed these to different consistencies. Some of them I have pastes, some of them are a little bit more watery. This is a little bit thicker. You can mix these however you like, and if you mix them with oils, obviously these are gonna be a little bit thicker than they would be with water. 
Now, whether you're making or buying your fruit and vegetable powders, you want to make sure you store them in an airtight container in a cool, dry location. So these treatments are really easy and fast to make at home. Just leave them on 10 to 15 minutes or longer if you would like. You want to do a skin test if you have sensitive skin or if you do tend to get irritated, I would recommend doing a patch test. And if you have any concerns about allergies or irritation, please do consult with your doctor. Disclaimer, I am not a doctor. So this information is not intended to treat or cure anything. You can also find many of these fruit and vegetable powders plus herbs and spices in our fresh masks from simplecareproducts.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you would like to be updated when we upload new videos each week. If you'd like a little bit more information about different types of clay and their uses, check out our video, Everything You Need to Know About Our Clay.